two years ago, an innovative Venezuelan program relo relocated families impacted by devastating landslides. The successful project became a model for a new type of urban de development. To explain, here's our correspondent, Rachel Boothroyd. It may only be a half hour drive from the urban jungle known as Caracas, but up here in the Sierra surrounding the Venezuelan capital, there is a different kind of atmosphere in the air which pervades these high rise buildings. Known at one point as the Walk of the Indigenous or the Pathway to the Sky by the Spanish, this area now goes by the name of Caribia, one of Venezuela's new and most emblematic socialist cities, which this week celebrated its third birthday. It's a city that we want to be indigenous, where we consume what is produced and cultivated here. We want it to be ecological, self-sustainable and self-governed. Like Yandis, the majority of citizens who live in the city came here after losing their houses to heavy rains and mudslides, which swept the coastal state of Vargas in 2010. One of the aspects of living here which I like the most is the fact it's residential zone. There are recreational opportunities for the children. They can go out, they're safe, they can ride their bikes, there are parks. For many residents, the past three years have seen the city slowly beginning to find its feet as a community. They say that what they've built together since 2011 is a microcosm of a society in transformation, with eight communal councils and local cooperatives run and owned by the community currently up and running in the city. Of course, there is still a long way to go, but it is possible to live in socialism because it's a way of living amongst brothers. It's a better way of living. With many new homes beginning to take shape on the horizon and a plan to create a productive zone dedicated to scientific development, Caribia looks set to welcome many more citizens into its community. In the meantime, it stands as an example of what life could begin to look like in Venezuela over coming decades. Rachel Boothroyd, Telesur, Caracas, Venezuela. And thanks to Rachel.